Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Diana and today I'm continuing the Venus through the sign series. Almost complete with this series. I'm going to be discussing Venus and Aquarius today. So this video is not for Aquarius sun signs. Um, so if you were born sometime in February or yeah, it's sometime in February or end of January. This video is not necessarily going to pertain to you. Um, this is going to be for people who, in their natal chart, their Venus is in the sign of Aquarius. So um, just look for that symbol that's on the thumbnail of my video in your chart and in what sign it is. Or go to Cafe Astrology. Those websites are still listed below. For those of you who are new to my channel, just look at those websites below. So yeah, I wanted to go, I wanted to, um, you know, make this video before I go to Las Vegas for my birthday. Um, my birthday is on Saturday, if you guys didn't know. So I'm gonna have my solar return in Vegas. And if you guys don't know what a solar return chart is, it's basically a chart of how your life is gonna be for the next year. So it's like, you know, your, your own happy new year in astrology. And you know, it tells you how things are gonna go for the next year. Fuck, I have something in my eye. Okay, so let's get started by describing Venus and Aquarius. So Aquarius, as you all know, is ruled by Uranus. It's the rebel of the Zodiac. It's also co-owned by uh, Saturn, which is restrictions and lessons that you have to learn in this world. And you know, when your Venus is in Aquarius, um, you are somebody who you may not even want to fall in love. You may prefer having an emotional you may prefer having an intellectual connection with another person instead of actually falling in love. You may enjoy the idea of love. Love your freedom. You love being unstoppable. Um, you know, you may be in love with your thoughts. And as a Venus and Aquarius person, your ideas are going to be always very eccentric. And you want somebody who is not necessarily like you, but is, um, you know, original. You, you are original too. And you want somebody who is original and doesn't follow social norms. So you may, if we're, for example, if we're in the, you know, era of social media, a Venus and Aquarius person isn't going to want to date an Instagram hoe or a guy who is a bodybuilder on Instagram and is trying to get a lot of likes because that's what everybody's trying to do these days. A Venus and Aquarius wants to date that guy or girl that, you know, sits at home and reads books and, you know, is addicted to Harry Potter or, you know, and, and it tries to get away from social media because that's not the norm. They want somebody that is their own individual person and doesn't jump on the bandwagon like everybody else. They may enjoy collecting weird things. They may have weird hobbies. They now, their sense of style can also be like that. For a girl, she either can have a really unique sense of style or she can pull up some pull off some blue lipstick, some weird haircuts that nobody else will ever dare to pull off, some, you know, fashion that is so out of line with what's, you know, going on right now, they'll actually, they can actually look good doing it. Um, on the other hand, if Venus is badly aspected or you have other bad aspects to your appearance and your chart, then, you know, they're, uh, outfits can be completely disastrous and horrible and you're just like girl what are you wearing or they may not have a sense of style you know um but that's ultimately a venus and aquarius guy or girl they're not going to be about their looks they're not going to be about looking pretty and looking fashionable they want to be their own individual person and their own individual person they understand that you know a personality is what makes the person original so most of the time they're more worried about their and their crazy brilliant ideas uh they're um they're not people that depend on anybody else they you know may get along with everybody but they're not gonna have um that many friends because they don't really care about you know grabbing attention like leos they care about you know, being your own individual person, not caring what anybody else thinks about you, being confident and, you know, doing you, boo. 
that's what they want that's what they do and you know for them to be in a relationship in a relationship with a venus and aquarius they want somebody that they can share those crazy ideas with they want somebody who isn't gonna be like oh no you can't do that like what are you thinking like you're like that's not possible they want somebody that encourages them and as crazy as their idea might be i don't know they want somebody to support crazy ideas as radical as they are and as far as off as the ideas seem they need a partner that will push them to do that and they need a partner that has their ideas of their own too so they can help them support each other one thing I will tell you guys about Venus and Aquarius, they hate self-centered people. They will not be in a relationship or fr have friendships with people that are, you know, too emotional, that are crybabies about everything, or self-centered and think that they're the shit. It won't be with them for long. They like people that, you know, are doing things to support the masses. Um, they themselves are going to like people or be people that are super selfless they probably are those people that volunteer for things like habitat for humanity they're those types of people that you know uh volunteer at the puppy shelters they're those type of people that um will actually uh vote and try to uh do something to fix this country they'll probably um you know volunteer for charities or want to be involved in some type of charity or maybe, you know, do the marches and the walks for like, you know, gay, uh, gay people's rights, that type of thing. Because they're not just um, sit around, do nothing people. When they want to see change, they want to see change. And they feel like being a humanitarian person and actually fighting for a change. This in Aquarius, overall, they just want a mental connection. They get a lot of shit sometimes by their partner for not being too emotional and not being too romantic. But that's because they're too busy. They just want to, you know, create ideas and then support you with whatever crazy ideas you want to create. That's what they want. Um, they don't want to, you know, give you hugs and kisses all the time. Um, sexually, a Venus and Aquarius can probably, you know, be into like orgies or um, lesbian, gay sex, um, things that are out of the ordinary and not accepted by society because they want to rebel against what they want to what uh, what the norms are and they're okay with that they accept people who aren't normal or values that are not normal in society um if you want if you have like a if a venus and aquarius person you know is not one to quickly judge people for being different um you know a venus and aquarius person might not even want to get married they just may want to like sit with a relationship or maybe they're okay with being in an open relationship who knows maybe they um aren't even in a relationship, but they're okay with having lots of friends and maybe sleeping with them a lot, or, you know, they're, they're okay with that. Even if their parents tell you like, no, you have no morals. That's not what we taught you. Um, a Venus and Aquarius doesn't care. They're their own person. They know they're good people and they don't feel like they should be criticized by anybody else because of what they want to do with their life. That's their life and they respect your life. So you should respect theirs. Uh, they don't care what race you're from, what class you are, what sexual orientation you have. They will respect you and they'll want to be friends with you and I love that. These are really amazing people. They're that was my description. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. The next uh, series I'll be doing is probably Mars or Mercury. Um, so anyways, if you have any question please leave them below and leave your experiences since you guys are the ones that have these signs so you guys know this yourselves the most. So thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel today and have a great weekend and yeah, bye.